Hey guys, do you realize that John Todd Collins exposed Donald Trump and the Mark of the Beast on his recordings? I don't think many people realize that. So, John Todd explained that the Elite's end game plan was found inside the book Atlas Shrugged. Well, Atlas Shrugged is supposed to be about the new Atlantis and how it comes about. It Inside that book or movie, um, it explains that the person that gives the gold backing for the new financial system of the new Atlantis is Midas Mulligan. If you go and use Midas, meaning gold, Mulligan, being a golf term, you can instantly figure out that Midas Mulligan is the golden golfer. The golden golfer is Donald Trump. He's the one that's going to give us back the St. Germain's World Trust established in 1729 that is being pulled to the surface right now on History Channel shows being called Templar Treasure and being called um, King Solomon's Treasure. King Solomon is the Mark of the Beast, is the one referenced in Scripture for being the Mark of the Beast because... The mark of the beast is 666. The only other reference in scripture to uh, 666 is King Solomon. So we use, the scripture says that we have to multiply or calculate to come to the number of the beast. So the 666 in scripture references the 666 talents of gold per year that King Solomon collected. For 40 years that he was on the throne. So 666 talents of gold equals 49,950 pounds of gold. So you multiply 49,950 pounds of gold times the 40 years that he was sitting on the throne. You come to, if you use those numbers, you come to the number of 1,998,000 pounds of gold. So now you go and you're listening to the History Channel and they've got a TV show called The Curse of Oak Island. So we know that the History Channel is owned by Patty Hearst and by the Disney Channel. Patty Hearst is a right-hand path cabalist and Disney is a left-hand path cabalist. So that means that you go and you look at the right-hand path and they're going to be doing all the stuff out in public that shows you what's going on. So the Curse of Oak Island had something called the ninety foot, uh, called the forty foot stone. So forty feet down, they found a stone that said ninety feet below, two million pounds are buried. Now, for the for the left hand path cabalists, they're going to be hiding their information and not telling you what's going on. So inside the Pirates of the Caribbean, all the ships that were sailing at those times, including the ones that had either the Red Templar Cross or the Skull and Crossbones, which is also a Templar logo, would end up... Um, the, the Pirates of the Caribbean tells you that if you touch the gold, then you will acquire the curse. So when the, the money comes to the surface on the Curse of Oak Island, they're going to explain to you that that gold belongs to St. Germain's World Trust established in 1729. That is the gold backing for the Mark of the Beast. St. Germain is Lucifer. He is the god of Freemasonry and the god of the New Age. He's still around right now. It's easy to be able to find him. He's going to come out onto the world stage pretty soon. He did a soul-tying soul ritual to Donald Trump at Patty Hearst's house in 2016 in McLeod, which is the esoteric side of Mount Shasta that is the New Age capital of the world and the root chakra of the Kabbalistic globe Earth. So the, Todd told us everything that we needed to know without telling us. The information for us to find what's going on is already out in the public. You just have to figure out, the same as the Bible is written in parables, it's, it's just a, a way to be able to hide what's going on. 
These are all just riddles that you have to solve to be able to find what's going on. So, John Todd told us that Trump will be the one providing the gold for the Mark of the Beast.